If you want to watch any one video before taking any steps in the field of web development or software development, then you have come to the right place. Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Big. This is Priya Tiwari. In today's video, we will be discussing everything one needs to know about the field of full stack development. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Before we begin with the tools and technology, let us first understand why you have to be a web developer. Because the answer to this question will help you decide your future goals and help you to become a full set developer. With the growth of new technologies like Web3, Metaverse, the field of web development has become the most exciting and rewarding field to work. Given that, you are well versed with the correct tools and techniques to learn. The field of web development has a huge potential in terms of revenue and internships. The world of full stack is primarily divided into two ends, that is front-end and back-end. And the developer who handles both the ends are called full stack developer. Let's begin with understanding both the ends one by one. So what is front-end development? Front-end development, which is also called client-side development, is the part of a website that a user can see or interact with. This element adds visual functions to a website or an app. For example, if you want to make a website for your business, you won't be able to use all the photos and text you have. You will need to give them a selection criteria, a track for the client information, your location, contact, information, etc. Front-end development is what makes these features show up on the application for the user. In order to become a front-end developer, one needs to have HTML, CSS, JavaScript. For all the beginners out there, these terms may sound a bit confusing. So let me break it up to you. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which is used to make the basic structure of a website. In order to decorate that website, like which type of button should be used, what will be the color of that button, all these decisions are fulfilled with the help of CSS. Whereas, to define the logic of that button, that is, what should that particular button do or where it should take you. All these logics are defined with the help of JavaScript. Let me explain you with an easiest example. Suppose you want to build a house. So the outer and inner structure, number of rooms, washroom of that house will be made with the help of HTML. Whereas CSS will help you deciding the color of that house, different types of tabs you want, the kind of switch you want. Similarly, JavaScript will help you defining the usage behind that switch. So these are the technology you need to learn if you want to become a front-end developer. Just remember one thing, instead of trying to become a master of in a first go, try to learn and polish your basics first. Those who are new to programming language may find JavaScript a bit difficult at first. That's why it's recommended to stick with the basics first. After mastering these three tools, focus on building projects. The popular projects, one usually goes for clones, which means taking the same design of an already existing website. Another most popular project would be to make your own portfolio. Building a portfolio will help you in your placements too. Lastly, at this stage, one needs to start exploring Bootstrap. Bootstrap helps in making CSS, basically the designing part, very easy to learn. Now let's move on to the next part, which is backend development. Backend development, which is also called the server-side development, is a part of the website that client can't see. The main purpose of backend development is to make it easy for the user to interact with the application. In addition to this, it is also in charge of keeping databases and backend function of the frontend organized and running. Let's say that when people visit your website, a lot of them fill out the contact form and buy something. In return, they only see a frontend code that say the transaction was successful. But it is the job of backend developer to finish the purchase and save the information in the database. Backend development is what you need to make a website that changes and works. In order to explore or learn backend, we have few options available. First and foremost is learning Node.js. Node.js is a runtime environment of JavaScript. Since we have already learned and used JavaScript in frontend, it won't be that difficult to learn Node.js. Keep a note. Whenever you use Node.js for backend, you need to learn a database too. So with this, we understood that any website comprises three elements, that is frontend, backend and database. Let me take an example of Flipkart. All the products you see on the website come under frontend. When you place an order, the information gets to the backend. And when you finally buy that product, 
that put all your information such as location, name, number, all this information gets stored in the database. So this is how the process works. The backend interact with database and the database interact with the backend. And finally, they give output to the frontend. MongoDB is said to be a preferred database when you're working with Node.js. You see, data usually comes in two main formats. One, where you everything in sorted tabular form and another without any alignment. So we use MongoDB to deal with data related to without tables. The second most popular option to learn backend is learning Python and working on Django along with databases such as SQLite. Apart from these, PHP and Java are other two popular options. But since I'm assuming you are a beginner, then you don't need to learn Java as you've already learned JavaScript. Hence, I would suggest you to go with option number one, that is Node.js and MongoDB. While you are learning the backend, you will come to know about terms like API, HTTP, a few Linux command, Git, GitHubs. If you want a dedicated video on each topic, let us know in the comment section. Let's move on to the fourth step. The fourth step would be to make a full stack project, which includes all three, that is front-end, back-end and databases too. Given an assumption, one can take 1 to 1.5 months to learn front-end, approximately 2 to 3 months to learn back-end and hardly 15 days to get familiar with databases. So I can say that after spending almost 4 to 5 months and learning all the areas of full set development, one would be able to make a proper full set development project. After going through all the steps and making projects too, the final step would be to host that project. In order to host the project, there are so many popular platforms which one can use. If you want to pay and host, then one can use popular services such as AWS, Azure, Digital Oceans. Some websites provide a few credits too. You can use them and host your projects and see how one can reach or access a website through a link. Assuming you have made two projects, the final step would be to learn front-end library or frameworks. So the popular frameworks we have are React.js, which is based on JavaScript. Second one we have is Angular and third we have is Vue.js. Getting in depth about these frameworks would be too soon, considering you are a beginner. So learn and get familiar with these front-end and back-end tools first. Then you can learn about these framework too. After going through all the steps, you might have found some steps very easy or interesting. For example, I personally like front-end more than back-end. So whichever step you find it interesting, you can specialize in that particular step and make a career out of it. Or else, in case you like the entire process itself interesting, you can always go for full stack developer. If we talk about average salaries, according to Glassdoor, the starting salary of a front-end developer in India is approximately 5 lakhs per annum and a back-end developer's average salary is 6.8 lakhs per annum. Although the salary differs from the expertise one possesses, the number of years he or she has worked and which company or he or she is working. At last, I would like to end this video with these tips. Firstly, learn my projects. Do as many a project as you can do. This will help you in not only learning the tools, but also to solve different problems one faces. And secondly, don't quit. Many people, whenever they face any difficulty or any error, they tend to start losing interest and gradually quit coding. Never do that. If possible, take baby steps but learn every day. I hope we have understood everything from start to end about full stack development. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Till then, keep learning and don't forget to like and subscribe to Learning.